returns to the Roman period inside the minds of Lapis Specularis. The province of Cuenca, Castilla-La Mancha, has currently important and abundant archaeological remains of the mining activity generated in Roman times. The extractive industry of Lapis Specularis, selenitic gypsum or selenite, was mainly developed during the 1st and 2nd centuries AD in a wide area, coinciding in part with the territory gypsum of the Loranca geological basin, where more than 20 mining groups have been identified dedicated to the exploitation of the Espejuelo by indoor mining and the use of the cameras and galleries method. The Lapis Specularis of Hispania was located in an area of 100,000 Roman steps 147 kilometers around the city of Segobriga, Salices Cuenca, whose fortune can be attributed to this mineral. The mines are always located underground, normally with shallow depths, which do not usually exceed 30 meters measured from the surface. The galleries used to be of reduced section, often less than one square meter, although it is very common to locate cameras that on occasions are several meters high. The original access to the mines was done either through shafts or sub-horizontal tunnels. Less than 20 minutes from the Segobriga archaeological park, the Roman mine of La Condenada is settled in the town of Osa de la Vega, close to Cuenca, being part of one of the most extensive and interesting mining complexes of Lapis Specularis in Castilla-La Mancha. specular plaster, or spejuelo, was extracted, which due to its size and transparency was used as glass by Romans, exploiting and distributing the mineral from this area to the entire empire. This mine has a labyrinthine plot with almost a kilometer of underground route in extension, divided in three levels, accessible to each other by means of counter shafts and carved stairs, along with galleries and ramps that intercommunicate them 
and adapt to the mining exploitation morphology for a better monitoring and processing of the crystallized gypsum veins. The mines and archaeological sites of Osta de la Vega are among the first archaeologically intervened and also the most studied so far. These works and activities have allowed us to gather extensive documentation and information contributing to the knowledge of this particular mining process of the so-called Cristal de España. other technical aspects of the exploitation of this mine have been clarified, such as its later uses of sepulchral and funerary nature in Visigothic times as a collective necropolis. Thus, it has also been possible to verify its function as a place or refuge or where to take shelter in times of instability and crisis used by those wanted by the Holy Inquisition or by the contenders of the Civil War. Take a trip back in time and go back 2,000 years, visiting a Roman mine of Lapis Specularis that has remained practically unaltered since its exploitation in the 1st century AD. returns to the Roman period inside the mines of Lapis Specularis.